Most schools across Virginia are empty, but there's still a lot of learning going on here at St. Matthew's Catholic School. Come on, follow me and I'll show you how the students are doing digital learning. All right, I'm going to give you two more seconds to finish up. Teachers on one side of the screen, students on the other. In front of the classroom, like it's different. I can have them raise their hand, I can call on them, but I know that I'm going to have 22 little bodies just staring at me in a computer because it's all live. Allie Thomas is a first grade teacher, now connecting with her students via webcam. You're looking good. I like your oh, Abby. The coronavirus forcing schools to practice social distancing, taking a new approach to education. It feels like I'm at school because I'm working, but it's I'm really at home. All students are joined on the call. They can ask questions by typing a message or unmuting their microphone. Call in someone else. Frankie, would you like to turn your mic on and share with us? The creative solution to continue education, taking some stress off parents. But I really think it's good to still keep them engaged and still keep them doing something even while they're at home. It's not just a vacation. The students meet Monday through Friday, but their time in the virtual classroom is shortened from a typical day. Thomas says every minute together is still better than the alternative. You know what? I'm doing something in the little hour that I have to make sure they're learning something. Even though the classrooms may be empty for a while, teachers say they're prepared to teach their students this way for as long as they need to. In Virginia Beach, Erin Miller, News 3.